Hi and welcome to Automatech's Watch and Learn series video. Today we'll be talking about how to install Historian and connect to iFix. Note, this video is only going to be discussing versions that are lower than 9.0. I am your host, Franco Patron. I am one of the support application engineers at Automatech. In this video, we'll be going over installing Historian, installing client tools, installing collectors, connecting to iFix, and creating a trending chart. To begin, you're going to download the Historian ISO, click on the Install Launcher, and click Install Historian on the Wizard. Click Next. You can keep everything default. We're going to do a single server. You're going to start the install process. It's going to take a few minutes. We're just going to speed it up a little bit. Next, we're going to go ahead and install the client tools. Remember, if you're using a remote historian, the client tools need to be installed on the data source and pointed back to the historian. For this demonstration, both software are on the same machine, but I still want to run through it. Once that's finished, we're just going to breeze through that. We're going to go ahead and go to the collectors. Um, you can choose what collectors you can install. For this instance, we're just going to stick to the iFix and the simulation collector. Again, the standard uh, historian wizard. You can click next if you want to keep everything defaulted. I'm going to click on the iFix collector and the simulation collector. Click next and it's going to install the collectors onto the system. Remember the collectors need to be put on the data source and then pointed back to the remote historian unless you're using both on the same system. And it probably will ask you to restart it just like mine. So we're gonna go ahead and restart. Once you're finished with that, you're gonna go into the SCU of your iFix application. It's important to locate the actual SCU file because sometimes when the SCU does pop up, it's just a generic fix one. Make sure you track down the one that is for your project. Go to configures, task, and mine's already in here from a previous install, but if not, you'd have to go and find it and then add. And make sure you go run as DOS in the command line. This makes it a service. Hit OK. File save. Now, because it's in the task list, when you go ahead and start iFix, the collector will start automatically. Inside your workspace, you're going to go to Applications, Administrator, go to Configure Historian Server, set the historian to default, and then get the collector, which is going to be the iFix collector, and set that to default as well. So it won't take effect until you restart workspace, so you just can close it out and restart it. Um, from here, we'll open up the historian admin. I already have tags in my historian admin, but if you need to add more, say from a different collector, we're going to go to collectors. Hit the simulation, hit browse.
you can select all or select the ones you need. Enable. The collection, you can set the time for collection rate. You can go through the settings yourself. Update. And now they're in there and being collected. Exit out of here. We're going to open up Workspace again. We're going to go to Insert. We're going to select a Line Multi Line Chart. We're going to put it in this blank picture. From there, we're going to go to Data Sources. Add a new one by hitting that little square box. Hit the ellipsis on the right. And my historian tabs are already in here. If not, click on the little carrot and you can and you can select it to bring it up in the tabs menu. But again, historian, select the one you need and then add the tags you wish to view. I'm just gonna add the four that I added previously. Once you finish, hit OK. Go to Run. And that is how you put uh, tags in the trending chart instead of iFix. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any more questions, please reach out to our account rep or email us at support at Thank you and have a wonderful day.